In this demonstration, we'll see that the vertical and horizontal motions of a projectile do not influence each other. Uh, the projectile that we'll use is this uh, plastic ball, and we'll project it with this cannon. This cannon, uh, this device has a spring in it, and I'll just hold it here so you can see it. And I can force the spring down, and it will stay in place there. So the spring is compressed at this point. I'll push the card along this level track, and my table's not quite level, so I put some cardboard here uh, to make sure that it was level. So you can see the cart doesn't move uh, on the track. Uh, the other thing that I need is to release the ball, and for that purpose I have an automatic release, which is a photogate. And the photogate is this device on the side, which has a slot in it. There's an infrared beam passing across it. If I break that infrared beam with something, then that will release the ball. What I'll break it with is this piece of cardboard. So I'm going to mount this cardboard on this clamp right here at exactly the level of the photo gate and double check. Now when I pass it through, let me just show you how this works. When I pass it through the photo gate, it releases the ball. So I'll get the flag in position, line it up, and we're set to go. Ready the cart. I'll give a push and I'll stop pushing before the uh, flag uh, actually passes through the photo gate. And as you can see, the ball fell right back down into the cannon. Let's take another look at that. Ready? Right back down in the cannon before I actually caught it over here. So what that is showing us is that the ball continues traveling horizontally with the same speed that the cart has. The cart doesn't slow down, the ball doesn't slow down, and since they're both moving horizontally together, the ball comes right back down in the cart. And the fact that gravity was acting on the ball all the time and making it slow down on the way up and speed up on the way down had absolutely no effect on that horizontal motion.